been good in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to create a website for your airbnb as a beginner the platform that i would recommend you use to create your website is wix website builder the reason why i recommend wix website builder is because it is easy to use beginner friendly and you can also get started for completely free now all you'll need to do is go onto wix.com once on Wix.com, you can create an account using your email address. After you have created your account, you are going to tap on Create New Site. Once you have selected Create New Site, you will be redirected to a page just like this. And you are going to tap on Set Up Without Chat. After you have done that, on the search bar, you can type in Airbnb. So you can do that real quick right here. So we'll do that. So you can type in Airbnb right there and you can select BNB. After you have done that, you're going to tap on continue. Once you have tapped on continue, you'll be led to your dashboard. Now on your dashboard, you'll be able to add the name of your site. So for example, I can name it Jason's Airbnb. So let me do that real quick. So I'll call it Jason's Airbnb. Then I'll tap on continue. Once you have tapped on continue, you want to ensure that the Wix hotel plugin is added. You can also add, for example, the Instagram plugin. So you'll be able to display your Instagram feed. So you'll be able to, for example, display pictures of your, of your Airbnb or so on. If it is a case that you would like to also add the forms plugin, you can do that. You can also scroll down and from here, you could add other plugins as you can see there are numerous other plugins that you can quickly add but the main one you want to ensure is added is the wix hotels plugin i'm also going to add the instagram feed plugin right here now scrolling down you can see the different plugins then you are going to tap on continue once you have tapped on continue you'll be led to your dashboard now on your dashboard i'll be showing you how to upload pictures and also how to set up the booking that you'll be offering to your customers the first thing you want to do is go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select hotels then from there you're going to see the option complete setup for weeks hotels and you're going to tap on start now once you have tapped on start now you'll be redirected to a new page as you'll need to install the Wix Hotels app. So you're going to tap on Agree and Add. So let's do that real quick. After you have selected Agree and Add, you can see that the plugin is being added. Then you're going to tap on Go to Dashboard. Once on the dashboard once more, what I want you to do, so you'll be redirected to the Hotels plugin, as you can see right here. From here, you can add your property's name once more. So I'm going to clean this up. Then you can select your property type. So you have apartment, bed and breakfast, guest house, hotel, hostel. There are numerous options that you can choose from, as you can see right here. So for example, I'm going to select apartment. Or better yet, I'll select bed and breakfast. Then I'll tap on save. After you have tapped on save, you can see right here you can complete your business info. So for example, you could tap on let's go right here. After you have tapped on let's go from here, you can add in a logo. You can also upload an image real quick or add a short description. And you could also add in your business address right here. And by adding in your business address, it will automatically display a Google Maps on your website. So persons will be able to easily find your Airbnb. And you can go back after going back there are other options that you can also see so for example you can also accept payments by tapping on accept payments right here depending on the country you're located in you'll see different payment options for example in jamaica i would be able to accept paypal and tilo pay so by setting up these options you'll be able to offer them to your potential customer and if we were to go back into hotels setup once more so let me select property settings if we were to tap on property settings from here i can show you some other features that you can quickly set up so i would shown you how to set up business info 
you can also tap on general settings right here after tapping on general settings from here you'll be able to input the amount of rooms the square meter scroll down you'll be able to set up the time that it will be available whether it is all year round or only in a specific season you can add in the check in and check out time and so on as you can see right there so you can fill in all of that information you can also edit your cancellation and deposit policies your property facilities and so on and the thing that i like about wix is majority of these features are you would normally have to add another plugin if you were to do this for example on wordpress or so on but with wix they come automatically so you don't have to worry about that and for example if we were to tap on the deposit policy you can see all you'll need to do is tap on edit and from there you can edit how you would like to your deposit policy to look how much you'd like them to deposit before they can confirm a booking so you can see that it is quite easy to set up using wix and you can tap on room types from the left hand menu option and from here you can edit the type of rooms that you are offering you can also tap on rate plans and you'll be able to edit them the rates you can tap on extras and from there you'll be able to set up different amenities and so on once you're finished doing that, you'll tap on set up in the top left hand corner. Then from here, you're going to tap on design site in the top right hand corner. Then you'll tap on pick a template. After selecting pick a template, you'll be redirected to the themes page. Now let me refresh this page real quick. Tap on pick a template. Tap on pick a template. After selecting pick a template, you'll be redirected to the themes page. And from here you can see numerous stunning looking themes that you can choose from normally i would choose one of the best match so for example i'm going to be using this one so all you'll need to do is tap on edit after tapping on edit you'll be redirected to the wix editor page on the wix editor page you'll now be able to customize your website so you can tap on the x to close the pop-up once the pop-up has been closed, I would normally tap on the plus 50% in the top right-hand corner. And from here, you'll get a better view of how your website looks. You can see how it looks at the moment. Now to start editing, it is quite straightforward and easy. All you'll need to do is hover over the particular section that you'd like to edit. Then tap on quick edit. After you have done that, you can, for example, change the title right here. So I could change it to JSON right here. So I can do that real quick. As you can see there, you can scroll down and you can edit each section. And if I wouldn't wanted to change the background image or so on for this section, I could tap on that. Then from there, you can change the background image, you can change the title and so on. And it is as easy as that to edit each section of your Wix website. So you can tap on the text box and you can start editing the text by tapping on edit text. If you'd like to use their AI feature to create content for you, you can tap on create AI text. And to view all pages on your website, you can tap where you see home in the top left hand corner. And for example, we could go onto the book a room page and you can see how it looks right here. And if you would like to edit this page, you can do that. All you'll need to do is tap on quick edit and from there you'll be able to edit the background color and so on. It is as easy as that to edit each page on your Wix website. Now to publish it you'll tap on publish in the top right hand corner and your website will now be live. Or if I were to tap on preview you can see how my website looks at the moment. So you can see how it looks right here. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.